um, so this was key one, uh, empathic awareness skill. Two, empathic listening skill. Well, yeah, empathic listening is to listen to understand the other person's thoughts or feelings from their point of view. It's really, and that's why I called it empathic listening. Some people call it uh, reflective listening, power listening, uh, active listening. And that means, uh, if you will, to actively want to listen from where they're coming from. And I go into the various steps involved. A lot of times our problems are, uh, and Stephen Covey, the famous author who wrote uh, Seven Habits of Highly Effective People, he said, most people listen with the intent to re reply rather than to understand. And so, Listening with the viewpoint of replying means I'm thinking of what I'm going to say next rather than really, you think I'm listening, but actually I'm preparing to speak. That's not fair. Uh, I really need to listen to, to want to understand. And I think not only your vocabulary, but the, the meaning of the words from your point of view, let alone my own definition. Why are you saying it in that way? What are, what are your underlying feelings to the two sentences you just mentioned to me uh, on whatever the subject is? So I think uh, empathic listening is really listening to understand. And frankly, it's a, it's a real act of love, I think. It's an act of living for the sake of the other person, if you will. It's not about me right now, but it's about you or about the other person. And I think the person feels uh, the authenticity and the sincerity there, and they may end up saying more than what they thought they were because they feel your sincerity is creating a greater receptacle to receive them. And uh, the more you listen, the better. And, and one of the keys of, of the depth of empathic listening is to say back the essence of what you heard, uh, which means if you tell me something and I'm really listening from your point of view, then I, then I might say, okay, so Valeria, you're really concerned about this or about that. Is that right? And so that helps me calibrate and, and, and make sure I got it right. And you might say, yes, Bento, that's exactly how I feel. Or you might say, well, yes, or, but more so like this. And so then I, I get it right. So saying back, rather than just nodding my head and you think I got the whole thing when I didn't, saying back the essence of what I heard you say and your underlying feelings helped make sure I got it right. And the speaker really appreciates the sincerity of the listener really wanted to get to their side of the equation, get to where they're at. It's like, wow. You really want to know where I'm coming from. How uh, valuable is that? Thank you. And hopefully they'll want to do the same to you when it's your turn to speak. So I think uh, it's probably one of the most beautiful things. But again, I think it, it's predicated by empathic awareness of my value and your value. That's why I came up with empathic awareness skill, which I don't hear in a lot of classes. They usually talk about how to listen well, how to speak well, how to dialogue well, how to problem solve. But if they're not really pausing first to recognize my unique and special value and the other person's unique and special value first and foremost, then we're just gonna go off to the races with plumbing, especially if it's a heated argument, we can forget and say, wait, wait a minute, uh, this person isn't my opponent right now, they have a different point of view, but I don't wanna throw out the fact that they're a valuable human being. Yeah, 